I started playing the violin when I was about four years old, and that was really, I think, the first musical thing I've been doing. My dad was very enthusiastic about music, but in fact it was my mother who would take us all to our lessons. She was the sort of hockey mom of the violin, I guess. I did that for 10 years or so until I started taking it seriously when I was about 16. I first met Isaac, actually his father called me. I had been teaching his sister uh, viola, but that was, that was a while ago. Uh, his father called me and says, uh, I don't think you've met my uh, youngest one. So I knew he was a, a good guy and I knew he was also very busy and I was sort of expecting he would say, oh, I'm too busy, I can't take on another student right now. But if you could please listen to him and maybe help me guide him through a grad student, some, someone you know. So, uh, because he was 15 at the time. I said, all right, we'll bring him down, we'll see how it goes. He was very sort of, I wouldn't say untrained, but he was just left to do whatever he wanted to do kind of thing. I think when I got here, I was a bit scattered. And I was just really excited about playing music and doing all this stuff. And I had to sort of learn to take it seriously. Uh, his father was in the lesson, actually, and I remember uh, asking him, okay, could you please to viola. I, I basically, instead of giving him a lesson, I, because I saw there was some uh, uh, great fluidity in the playing and, and natural ability, so I sort of just placed a little thing that I like, could you play like that? And right away said, well, actually, that's much easier. And um, I actually took uh, his father out of the room and I told him, I said, I don't think you know what you have here. <laughs> got a special talent here. Is it really? Is it? Yes, very much so. So it started from there and I told him I won't direct him to a grad student. I'll take him myself. It's very challenging, but challenging kind of in the way that a very challenging hobby is and you feel like you'll never really be able to do it, but it's sort of fun to kind of get there. I play in an orchestra myself, and so I have the experience of playing with musicians all the time. And when I play with him or with my other kids, I come on thinking, you know, he's really a good player, <laughs> and so, which, is, which is fun. A lot of it is private lessons, obviously. You see, you see this person every week for an hour, and they, you know, they're on your case about everything. Basically, what they're doing is they're all helping you to teach yourself, because that's really what it's, what it's all about. He is uh, he's very demanding upon himself upon uh, himself and about everybody else around him, including me, and which, is, which is great. He, he really pushes you to excellence, and he pushes himself to excellence, really. Now it's, it's something I couldn't, couldn't live without, basically. It's, I, thinking about it, I think about it really all the time, actually. Isaac did three degrees in five years, just so that you have an idea. He did uh, licentiate, a uh, bachelor's and an artist's diploma, all that in five years, which is quite exceptional, really. He's also taken very much, very seriously, his role as a mentor to younger students. We also assess as a faculty who among our graduate is the most likely to have a major impact in the field, uh, to have a career that will represent excellence, whatever it chooses to do. The Golden Violin is a, is a terrific thing because you know, one of the difficulties with a career in music is that the pathway isn't evident and the, where the financial support is coming from isn't evident as well. So it's nice to have recognition that you're doing well and support to keep going. So it offers both those things. It's an award that will help the, the, the recipient to, to establish himself out there for the next step of his career, whatever that may be. It's sort of kind of an incredible thing to be given this huge sum of money all at once. And I mean, for me, what I was going to do with it is I'm going to try and put it towards buying a new instrument. It's a huge investment, and even this award is not going to cover half of what it takes to buy this instrument, but it's a very good step in the right direction, and it's very encouraging to, you know, be given that.
McGill's been a great place to learn to take things very seriously, and that's what it, really what it takes when you're a musician. My ultimate ambition is always a kind of complicated thing to be, to be asked, because as a musician, I've never felt like there's an end. So my ultimate ambition is, you know, very kind of esoteric in that way. But I, you know, if I can live comfortably and all I have to do is play my instrument, I mean, that sounds pretty good to me.